is going on, Big Booty Monkeys, and welcome to another installation video. Now, this is how to install Optifine for 1.7. Now, I'm going to be doing this on 1.6.4, but I promise you if the method's changed, then I will remove this video and re-upload a way to upload it to 1.7. So, if you're watching this and Optifine is out for 1.7, then this is still the correct way to install it, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So, first, you want to go to Google and search Minecraft Forge. That just makes this a lot easier. There are a couple of different ways to install Optifine, but this is probably the best. And at the same time, you want to search Minecraft Optifine and open the MinecraftForum.net page. Both of these pages will probably be in the description. If not, just let me know in the comment section below. So, you come up with this page for the Forge. So, you want to download the latest 1.6.4 like, like so. Click the installer and this will come up here. Then in a second, this is going to say skip and allow me to download it. So here we go. You click the skip ad. You don't want to click anything else. And you want to click keep to this here and that will begin to install. So then while you're doing that, you then want to go to your Optifine. Now, as I said before, this is 1.6.4 for me. But any of these 1.7s should be for you. If it's not 1.7, then it's not out for yours yet. The same with the Minecraft Forge. As you can see, if I come back to this page here, for me, it was 1.6.4 for you. That should be 1.7 or 1.7.1, blah de blah de blah So when you're on this page, you just want to find the one for you, and then you want to click the one that allows you to use Forge. So as you can see there, Forge compatibility. So you just want to download that one or click the mirror, and then once you've downloaded that, uh, it'll, well, once you click that, it'll come to this page. It hopefully won't come for that one. I'm just going to... Get rid of that one for the young audience watching and um, just wait for that to get done. So there we go. We've skipped the ad and it will come up to the downloading now and click download there. So it's kind of hidden because they're trying to make as much money as possible. But you just want to click that one there and close the pop up because you don't really need that. Click keep and here we go. So we've got both of them now. So now I've already got Forge installed, so I want to show this in folder, and as you can see, I've got my documents laid out, so eventually it'll come down here as soon as my documents have fully loaded. Now you want to go to your .minecraft folder, so if you do percent app data percent up here, you can also do it in the run or even your start menu, if you come to this, I'm on Windows 8, but it should work with other Windows, app data there, search it and it will bring up this folder. You want to go to your Minecraft. Now, you, there won't be a mods folder yet because you need to install your Forge. So when you click the Forge that's installed, you click this and you click OK. And that will make a new thing in your Minecraft, which you then want to select. It's a new profile. You want to select that, open it once, then close your Minecraft, and it will bring up this mods folder as well as a couple of others. So then this will probably be empty for you. If it's not, you want to delete everything in there because you've already installed Forge before. And then you want to grab your Optifine. You just want to copy this and paste it into the mods folder. And that's you done, guys. I hope you have all enjoyed this episode. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that beautiful stuff. And um, bye.